Welcome to another video from World Soccer News today. Today, we'll be discussing the World Club Cup. A seed was planted during the official FIFA press conference the day before the game, it spread on Arabic social media and made its way to Al Hilal's dressing room. A video with a Brazilian journalist belittling the Flamengo's opponent ended up serving as fuel for the players led by coach Ramon Diaz in their 3 2 victory in the Morocco World Cup semi finals. What happened? The day before the Flamengo vs Al Hilal game, a video of a reporter belittling the Flamengo's opponent went viral on Arabic social media, which dubbed the journalist's speech and spread it in Saudi Arabia. Basically, if Flamengo doesn't beat Al Hilal next Tuesday, It'll be a major embarrassment because that team, Al Hilal, is really bad, the Brazilian journalist said in the video. At the official FIFA press conference before the match, an Arab reporter indirectly referenced the incident, mentioning it not only in Flamengo's interviews but also in Al Hilal's. The questions caused some tension in the press conference room, but shortly after the Arab reporter revealed that the motivating factor for his questioning was the video in question. Cuellar admits discomfort, disrespectful, former Flamengo player, the midfielder Cuellar, now playing for Al Hilal, was asked if the subject had reached the Arab team's dressing room and, honestly, he admitted that it had, showing that he was uncomfortable. Mainly me, it moved me a bit because I think it was a bit disrespectful to the football professionals who are trying to improve Arabic football every day and have shown growth in the World Cup. It was a bit disrespectful, but even so, we entered the game with a lot of respect for Flamengo and the quality of their roster and showed that football is becoming increasingly competitive and that we are rightfully in the World Cup final, the Colombian told. Gabigol, favoritism comes from outside, Gabigol, from Flamengo, in turn, made it a point to emphasize that internally, the team did not treat the game with favoritism. The favoritism comes from outside, it was never here within. I think we could have done better. I don't want to make excuses, but it's the beginning of the work. It was our greatest dream, what was missing for us. It's going to be a long, difficult night, but one of learning. At this moment, men appear. Tomorrow, we'll start working to plant new things and be champions, he said. Thus, Flamengo says goodbye to the dream of a back-to-back -back championship. That's all for now and thank you for following us and sharing. Cheers.